The overall goal of this procedure is to demonstrate subcellular fractionation of brain tissue using a discontinuous sucrose gradient to enrich for proteins from the synaptic membranes and postsynaptic densities. This is accomplished by first homogenizing the brain tissue with a powered homogenizer. Next are a series of centrifugation steps to prepare crude membrane protein extracts. The membrane extracts are then layered on a discontinuous sucrose gradient for ultracentrifugation. The final step is to collect the proteins from the gradient. Ultimately, the results can show changes in synaptic protein levels through western blot analysis. This is a well-established technique that's been used by neuroscientists for over 40 years. We use it in our laboratory to understand how the protein composition of the synapse changes when we perturb different neurotransmitter systems. The main advantage of this technique over other methods like percol gradients or continuous sucrose gradients is that discontinuous sucrose gradients are easier to build by hand. This protocol makes use of a motor-driven glass Teflon homogenizer. Always replace the pestle between samples and rinse and dry the homogenizer. First, load the dissected tissue into a 13 milliliter tube with 4 milliliters of 0.32 molar HEPA's buffered sucrose solution. Then transfer the tissue to a clean glass homogenizer. Set the motor to 900 RPM and homogenize the sample with 12 strokes over 30 seconds. Using less than 4 grams of tissue ensures a good fractionation. Transfer the sample back to the tube and store